We're going to be looking today at some of the ways that we can surface different data through an agent and then use that data to drive the quoting process. Here we are kind of opening up our agent and we're going to ask the agent to create a quote for us. We're going to add 15 software licenses and we're going to sell this for a three year period, but we're going to sell this in kind of a ramp style deal where we'll have a 5% uplift year over year. This is a very common scenario that we see in quoting today. And it typically requires a little bit of manual work by the, the sales rep to go in and enter in the uplift and enter in the term. So here we're going to show how we can just conversationally build that quote out. The agent has now created the quote for us and we're now bringing the quote up. You can see that we have a line item representing those software licenses with a quantity of 15. We have an individual sales price you know, associated with that and then the subtotal. But we also have this spaced out over a three-year deal. So we can take a look at the ramp that has been created here and we can see that year one, we have a 10% discount year two, we have 5%, and then year three, we have no discount, kind of representing that 5% year over year uplift that's occurring here. So again, very common uh, scenario that we run into in quoting, and typically, you know, a sales rep would kind of have to go through and configure these numbers and kind of work out a little bit of the math themselves. But we were able to do this, you know, utilizing that agent um, through a very, very simple prompt. We can continue adding products and configuring and pricing out different quote lines within this quote. So not only are we going to sell these software licenses, but we're also going to add an instance of premium support. So the system can go in, find that product for us, add it to the quote as a quote line and give the correct quantity and, and price for that product. Now you can see that we have the, the premium support line has been added to our, our quote. If we wanted to add a discount or something like that, that's something that we could do through the prompt. So now we're going to add the API access product to the quote, and you can see that we're going to give it a, a discount of 25%. So now we have the API access product and you can see that typically at kind of a list or MSRP price, this product goes for $2,500. We've added that 25% discount. So the total price that we are receiving is $1,875. Now as a, a manager, right, when you kind of are, are reviewing quotes for approval, it's useful to know, you know, hey, historically, how much, how much of a discount do we typically add onto that API access product? What does that usually sell for? And this is the type of thing that, you know, I mentioned earlier, we would usually use things like reports and dashboards in order to source this type of information. But now we can just interact with the agent and it can go ahead and tell us, hey, you know, it's between 18 and a half and 26.75, right? So you're on the high end, right? But you're within the range of the typical API access discount. I really like this for a couple of reasons. Like one, it helps the sales manager understand when they're looking at it and saying, you know, okay, there's a 20% discount. So what, right? What is that? That mean um, but it, it also helps us understand are our approval process is hitting on the right threshold right um, I think anybody who's spent some time around quoting and, and approvals knows that all too often approval processes become kind of a rubber stamp where people just receive them and they say yes and, and then they move on unless you know there's something really egregious with the quote so by kind of using the agent and and surfacing this type of information we can start to refine those approval processes so that they're really impactful and that we are catching the things that we want for approval, but we're not slowing down our sales cycle with, with unnecessary steps in that process.